Scratch, Scratch's Garage, and we're back on the Sour Box. We have a lot of stuff going on today. We are going to get the doors hung. We're going to get the welding done on the side. We're going to get all the patch panels in, I think. We're going to get Nick in the trunk. He's going to fix some pieces. Um, and we have a lot going on today, and I'm really excited. I'm glad to be back. We missed last week. We had so much other stuff going on. These guys were out of town. I don't even know what I was doing. But I'm back, and I'm not hungover. What you working on, Scratch? Man. So we're trying to hang the doors today. Got Blake over there peeling the other bottom of this door off. Um, you know when a car sits out in Cleburne for 30 years, there's just a bunch of rust and shit like this on the bottom of the door. So we're going to take all this off. And uh, after we get that, we're going to try to fit it in the, the door jam area. There's a couple other things going on. These hinges are definitely damp. And um, so I'm, I'm going to probably have to heat one of them up and hammer it flat. Uh, that's what I got going on today. What do you have going on today, Nick? Oh, okay. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> what I got going on today is uh, I need to make these brakes for the trunk so that way this thing doesn't get all too wibbly wobbly. But I'm going to make a piece that pretty much sits on the top here and you'll be able to spot weld it on or bolt it on, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna have a nice little piece of insulation and the trunk will rest on it or it'll rest on the trunk. So that's it. We're gonna use a combination of the shrinker and the stretcher, get the shape that I want, mimic the outside of the trunk. You already have one, right? We already got one, it's sitting over there. And uh, so. This little piece right here. So you can tell I've already started on it. It's got the nice little curve to outline the outside of the trunk. Just needs a little more tweaking. I think I'm gonna have to cut it right here because we've got the lightning hole on the roll pan. Um, and then do another side. But kind of just sitting there, something like that. A little better shape after we're all said and done. Yeah. And then on to a next project. Right on. Mm -hmm. Oh, my turn? Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, all these patches that are just tack welded on, I'm going to try and make the car one piece today. So yeah. I'm just going to hide in the two welding hood. All right. So bring, rest. bring that uh, badass Lincoln welder over here, I guess. We'll get the big fan out of the way. <laughs> Air mover 3000. Air mover 3000. And this is uh, the floor that everybody just loves so much. De rustified. If you notice, the Pontiac symbol right here, because they're going to be building that Stroker 400, throwing them in here. Yeah, what y'all know about that? Yeah. But it's coming around. Uh. It looks really good right now. We're hoping to get the doors on today. Nick is going to handle that those pieces in the uh, trunk. And then we're going to get Blake in the welding hood all day. And he's going to handle all this stuff. And, and we just have a couple hours to wrap this up. It's uh, I know it's fall here in uh, North Texas, or you might call it autumn horrible waitress that we had earlier and uh a sweetheart. <laughs> god bless her and then uh you know have a couple of beers and hang out and do other cool hot rod stuff and play with our lincoln welder yeah brought to you by lincoln yeah so keep watching and hanging out
up next is I'm tweaking my brake piece to fit inside of my rear panel there and right now I'm going to cut what I need for the excess to clear this lightning hole dimple die hole that's in the rear uh, roll pan there just to make it fit we're going to bop back and forth on the shrinker and the stretcher just to tweak what I need to to mold to that rear panel and that'll all come to a head here. Up next, I've already used a piece of tape to mark the existing piece that I have so I can have the same measurement on one side as the other, make it look uniform. And now I'm gonna use my yardstick. I'm going to make a straight piece. I'm gonna cut it out, mark the halfway point so I know where to break it. Right now I'm gonna use the Beverly shear, trim it up, get it ready for the break. All right, so as you can see, now I'm currently shaping the other piece. So I've got my shrinker and my stretcher available to me. So I'm just moving slowly down the side and as the piece starts to curve, I'm going to curve the piece with it. Okay, so I'm gonna have to talk over the fan here. What I have to do next is now that I've made this fit inside the trunk, what I need to do is I would like to drill every two inches. So I'll probably start at a half inch and I'll work my way around, mark where I need to drill. And that'll be my plug welds to hold the trunk floor in. The rest of it will just use some polyurethane type of adhesive to like glue to the trunk and then we'll go from there. It'll be a nice little like insulation dampener. So watch and learn. All right, so here's a neat trick that I learned from scratch. So I'm using that piece of tape. I'm going to pretty much cut it to the length of my piece, as you see, and I'm gonna take that tape off and then I'm gonna put the yardstick on it, measure every two inches, find the halfway point vertically, and then I will use my little punch tool, mark where I need to, and I can use that same piece of tape on the other piece that I made since they're both the same length. Saves a ton of time. And now I'm just going to drill it out and countersink the piece. So here's the finished pieces. All drilled, countersunk, cleaned them up, took all the Sharpie markings off of it. So up next is uh, put some adhesive on there and put some plug welds on there. and No more rattly trunk.
so. If you notice, it looks like a car again. There's a functioning door. Hardly have to slam it. Uh, I got this patch all welded in, take welded down. These welds all ground down, I gotta go back and finish weld it, and then that side started welding, and then I was in Scratch's way to hook up that other door, so then I came over here. So, next time, we'll finish all of them, but close. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, it's Nick, everybody. Uh, Hold on. Right, it's Nick, everybody. Uh, we're over here at Scratch's garage, doing our thing. Uh, today, we got our little brakes made, so. All nice and shiny. Got our little countersink holes in there. Be able to do our plug welds and then, you know, come up here. I'll be able to use that polyurethane adhesive to get onto the side of the panel there. Once this is all finished weld, we'll be able to spot weld on top and then grind it down, make it look all nice and pretty. No more rattling in the trunk. Um, that was fun. It took a lot of patience with the combination of the shrinker and the stretcher that we got there i'm really happy how it's all sitting in there and uh yeah can't beat it all right so i'm gonna take the phone here switch over the camera and we're gonna see what scratch did oh man i'm so excited i finally got this damn door on it was a lot of work i don't know if y'all remember how messed up these doors were, it would not close. It would overlap like a half an inch. And I ended up beating the door in. If y'all have watched the other episodes, I put new uh, bolts in here, stretched the hinge a little bit to, to compress it closed. I had to like hammer it shut. And now it fits like an actual car. So I have both of the doors on. The other door's a little funny. It fit, it does fit though, but it is, it's a little funny. And I don't mean like a clown, like a mic or something, but it does, uh, it does work. But anyways, thanks for checking it out. I would like to thank some sponsors, Lincoln and my buddy Nobles over there, Nobles Speed Equipment. Rick is always ha uh, sending us stuff and uh, he's a good guy. He's in New Jersey. Check him out. He's got a good YouTube channel, too. Hey, it's Scratch, and we're talking about the Gearhead Invasion in St. Louis. If you live out that way or if you're close, you need to come see us. The buzzards will be there. They'll be bringing the blue buzzard itself. It will be there. And uh, we'll be hanging out with uh, old Von Elrod, and he's gonna bring his car out there, which is a, an Ed Roth original car. So I'll see you there. It's October 19th, it'll be all day. And then the very next day is an art show. All right, so October 20th is the Show Me Lowbrow art show in St. Louis. Uh, Von Elrod will be there, and he'll have the uh, Outlaw Roadster, if you've ever seen that. It's actually the original Roth Outlaw Roadster. And the Buzzards will be there with uh, the Blue Buzzard. And I'll be pinstrapping and painting and all that stuff, as usual. We'll just be hanging out, having some beers. You know how that goes. But... More importantly, the day before the Gearhead Invasion. Let's do both of them. I'll see you there. Hey, man. You mind driving okay? I think we're parked, man. Oh, man. That's some good stuff. Yeah, man. Hey man. Hey, hey man. What uh? Looks like y'all are having a little seat here. Just a little. Test driving. Test yeah. Driving. See if it fits. You know, I just wanted to see how the uh, the journeys would do. 
Well, it looks like the doors are all right now, huh? Yeah, that's the thing about mock-up is you gotta try it out every time you get a new part on, so you gotta check the hang. Yeah. See how you can hang out of it. The seat's gotta be shorter than a milk crate for sure, but uh, we got a good idea of it for sure. Yeah, it's good. I like it. It's like the mock-up of the mock-up. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Never sat in a gasser before, so this is uh, kind of surreal. Yeah. Even just like hang your arm out the window here. There's no Flintstone in, there's no holes in the car, there's doors on it. It's almost like we're on the way to having a real car. Mm hmm. Just gotta bleed the brakes. Hey, man. Hey. Hey, man. Are we done here? Yeah. Maybe. I think so. Yeah, man. It's been long. Yeah. Beer number three says, about time to wrap it up. Yeah, man. And I'm freaking out, man. I know there's yeah, doors yeah. a little claustrophobic. Yeah, man. man. <laughs> Floor, you know, there used to be a lot more air and space in here. Nope, not anymore. All right, so keep watching. Next week, we're going to change the whole sour box to another vehicle. Oh, they're going to trip out. You're going to trip out. And don't forget, St. Louis, October 19th, be there. Yeah, buy some shirts or something. Yeah, yeah for real. Cool. <laughs> Thanks.